Sup everybody? It's your man. Coming from the one and only small front show. Coming to you on this, well, Saturday morning. Almost 12.30 in the morning. We leave the kid in Ohio, head back to Columbus to wrap this week up, so. Uh, so on this video, tonight's video, we're gonna talk about terminals with shops. How important they are, the role they play, and all those great things. Uh, but before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Come join the family. I mean, they might as well. We almost had a thousand family members. We might as well. Uh, the topics and views expressed in this video are minds and minds only. They're my opinions. Um, they do not represent the company that I work for in any way, shape, form, or, form, or fashion. I am not a spokesperson for said company. Now that we got that out the way, hopefully everybody had a good week. Getting ready for the weekend. Had a good, hopefully you're gonna have a good weekend. Um, I got some stuff I've been working on. I can't speak on it yet. Um, some stuff I've been studying for, practicing, things like that. Um, which will be revealed at a later time. But I, so I just been, I've been kind of chilling out, man. Uh, taking it one day at a time. Just, uh, you know, I'm here. I don't want to get on here and force a video, you know, if I'm really, like, not in the mood or just kind of chilling. That thing has been super sensitive. It wasn't even on the line, let alone over it. But I didn't want to get on here and force a video because that ain't me, you know. So, um, I've been just kind of chilling out. Like I said, studying for some stuff. Working on getting the podcast, and the mental health podcast up and running. Things like that. But I'm still here. Y'all always can email me uh, for the people who got my number. Y'all can text me, call me, y'all know that. Uh, so y'all always can reach out to me even if I ain't posting videos in that moment. My email is in the info card of the channel. Email me if you need to talk to me directly. Email me, I'll give you the number. We can go from there. So I'm here. I'm just kind of, like I said, just chilling, working on some things, man. But let's talk about these terminals uh, with the shops. So the, the, the big... The big bulk brick terminals are going to be the ones with the shops. Columbus, Indianapolis, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Morristown, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, Dallas. The big city bulk brick terminals are going to have the shops. The little smaller terminals, the end of the line terminals, they're not. So, me, I'm out of Columbus, and I, we have a shop. Now, it's, it's great because, like I told you, I get to work a little early. I get there early. Uh, the driver I share a truck with, he's good. He'll be back early. If he's not back early, he'll, he'll hit me up and let me know. Hey, I'm going to be running a little late. You know, give me the heads up. Um, I get hooked up. Now, if I have an issue, it can be addressed immediately. Immediately, they have an um, express lane where we can pull the whole set through, you know, and they'll get on it, whether it's lights, tire, wipers, you know, door, the cable on the door is broken, any of that stuff, they can jump on it right now. Bring you something back, that's, that's, you know, not out of service, but it's going to need some work done to it. They can ride it up, give it to the shop, they can get on it. They don't have to send you nowhere. They don't have to call the vendor route. Uh, you can get all your services done in-house. That stuff is essential and important to keep the operation of a trucking company rolling. It's always gonna be cheaper for them to do this work in-house. 
that have to outsource it, whether it's road calls or or vendor or you know taking it somewhere. You're, you're going to be at their mercy versus having it in house where they can address it quickly. Uh, and that's the good thing. And now everybody's not going to have that luxury. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a deal breaker. It's not like, oh, this ain't a good company. It's just not. Every every terminal doesn't have the space or the capacity or the importance. You know, you got a 20. Let me roll these windows up because it's kind of windy. You got a 20 or 30 door operation. They don't need a shop. They're not getting the, the volume that Columbus is getting, the 300, 300 plus door operation. You know, they got the bulk break. They got people coming from different, you know, 20 different terminals in and out of Columbus. Freight going here, freight going there, people coming in. They have the volume. So, if you are at a smaller terminal and you need work done, I'm going to tell you how this can go. They can send you to Columbus. When you're in Columbus, you can get your headlight fixed or leave your truck there, get a service, and give your loaner truck to take back with you. Whatever the case may be. Or, for somebody like me that's doing a meeting turn, they can have me bring a loaner up swap the whole unit instead of just swapping the loads i can swap the whole unit bring their truck back get them a service i hop in some you know my normal truck boom 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 a week later they truck done i hop in they truck bring it to them switch the whole unit again bring our loaner truck back that's just that's you can do it those two ways or your terminal may have a vendor they use that come to you and do the services and, and the, you know, the lights and the trailers that's out of service. They're going to work on those once a week or, you know, they may have a shop down the street where, okay, we can take our stuff here, but we can't get it to one of the, the, the terminals with a shop. So there's plenty of options, but the terminals with the shops is going to give you the most options, especially if that's the terminal you're out of because it can be addressed. You may need to get an empty. And an empty may, the door may be broken or a light out or a tire. If it's got a terminal with a shop, you can get it fixed. If you got a terminal that don't got a shop, you might have to leave it there. Or they might have to send somebody to you. Or they might have to say, hey, a route, you need to stop with that fixed because we can't get into a, 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 one of our, our terminal shops. So there on that end, you're kind of you're kind of limited and kind of inconvenienced Versus having the flexibility of having a terminal, a, 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 a terminal with a shop, you're at their mercy. So, it's it, you know, and they're placed strategically throughout the network on what's important and what's not. What terminals got? Like I said, the bulk freight terminals or the busy terminals. They're breaking, they're breaking freight, they're loading freight, getting it shipped, getting it out. You know, and, and that's that's where you have the real busyness of the terminal. So it makes sense to have it there, like I said, versus a 20, 30 door operation. It just, it's just not, the price the, the, that it takes to run a shop wouldn't reflect the amount of work they're gonna get. Yeah, there's gonna be people coming in and out, but if I got a shop at, at my terminal and I don't need nothing done at your terminal, it, it, it doesn't make sense. I could just get it done at my home terminal. So, you know, to look at it in that way as well um, and also we can just go ahead and link this together the 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 bulk break terminals are going to have your fuel columbus indy dallas memphis morristown for example cleveland they have somebody who comes and fuel the trucks a vendor buffalo they get fuel and route wherever they're going they stop and get their own fuel um, I believe Kansas is the same way. They get their own fuel. It's a truck stop. There's two truck stops at the exit for Kansas. They get their own fuel. Um, so that's not going to be the fuel. ain't going to be a hundred percent like that with the terminal with the shops, but it's going to be close to it. You may have a busy, uh, a busier terminal 
that may have fuel but not a shot. It can, it can, it, you know, that may have been an old somebody else's terminal that they bought and it had fuel, so they just kept it because people are coming in and out or whatever. And it's cheaper. It's cheaper for them to buy the fuel from their vendor than to get the fuel at a, you know, a, a big mom and pop truck stop. It's always going to be cheaper in house. Everything is going to be cheaper in house. And the more you can do to save the company money, the more money that the company is able to put back into facilities and the drivers and office staff and, and you know, bonuses and things like that. When you start having too much money spent, that's when things start getting cut and layoffs and things. You just don't want to deal with that. So, you know, anything you can do to 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 help the company uh, save money, you know, will help. And also, the terminals with the shops, like for us out of Columbus, this truck runs six days a week. This guy that drives it during the day, I drive it at night. So if I come in and they working on it and if something's wrong, I, I can hop in a spare truck, extra board truck. Same as same for him, he can hop in a spare truck, extra board truck, you know, until this truck gets back or, or whatever, you know. So that's the, the good thing. And also being in a major city, more times than not, these trucks are newer. You got if they have warranty work and they need to go back to the dealer, you got a dealer right there in the city. So the, let's say for Columbus, for example, you know, oh, we have Freightliner. This company has Freightliner, Kenworth, and Volvos. All three of those have a dealer in Columbus. Freightliner, Kenworth, Volvo. All three have a dealer in Columbus. To where if it's warranty work, it can get through there. But if you had a smaller terminal and you need warranty work, you may have to get it back to the big to the big brick terminals that has a shop to get it to a, a dealer. Or you may not have a dealer in your town, the next town over a couple hours. And so that's something else that you can run into. So for me, I'm out of the terminal with a shop. It's a help. I enjoy it. I'm thankful for it. It helps. It helps save downtime. It really does. It truly does save downtime. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get that video out. It came across my mind. And I said, you know what? It's Friday night, Saturday morning. I'm going to get me a video out heading back. And we're going to go and bring this thing on to a close and bring this week on to a close. So, as always. Make sure you arrive to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Love with somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. The world needs it now more than ever. It's surreal. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show and I'm out. Peace.